Throughout history, we've looked at men as the stars of the boxing world. But these days, some of the sport's most promising boxers come from a special place in California. And they're all teenage girls. I'm Zoe Saldana from BC, and I'm teaming up with Great Big Story to shine a light on American Latinx excellence around the country. While boxing has long been a tradition in the Central Valley of California, it wasn't until a few years ago that girls were allowed to compete professionally. But once the sport was opened up to them, not only did girls start competing, they started winning. A lot. In 2017, four girls from the Central Valley finished first or second at the Junior Olympics. Once you're in that ring, it's just you and your opponent. That's it. I keep all my aggressiveness inside the ring. I'm a beast inside the ring. <laughs> to be the number one spot, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, but it's all worth it in the end. The one leading the pack is Sandra Tovar, who at only 17 is ranked number one in the nation in her weight class. She started boxing when she was only eight years old with her father, who remains her coach to this day. I train six days a week, three trainings a day. I wake up in the morning and I go to school. I do my homework on the way to boxing and then I do it on the way back home. My biggest goal right now is to make it to Olympics and get a gold medal. For me to make that goal possible, every single tournament that is coming up, I have to win it and gather up all my points for my weight class and just keep pushing hard. Get that job pumping. Relax. I've been coaching since 1992, and I've trained a lot of champions, and uh, Sandra stands out. I remember when the sport of boxing was just boys, but I believe this new generation of girls is gonna change it. Competing professionally is expensive and it's become a major obstacle for many boxers in the Central Valley. But thanks to the community banding together to raise funds to send these girls to compete at the national level, the Central Valley has contributed to the changing face of boxing. I believe it's because the way they're raised, they don't have much, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to move up. Makes them hungrier, makes them stronger willed to reach what they want to get out of life. I feel like the spots are open tremendously right now in the sport of female boxing. And I feel like it's gonna end up getting equal to men boxing. 